what is up everybody it's your boy combs here and we've got a special guest on the channel say hello and introduce yourself what is up look at that it's mobile gamer or omg or trevor whatever you want to call him i like to go. give all three of his names trevor is probably the best thing i should probably start going by that more people say what's up mobile and now people are on the forums and things like that it's like oh that omg guy i'm like who is that omg guy it's like oh yeah it's my channel name <laughs> it's me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So we are here today, and um, we are going to be talking about some fun new stuff going on in the game. So everybody sees we have this nice new flashy raid in the game, which is the Gamma Raid. And that's going to be for, uh, you know, getting more Juggernaut shards so that we can all get together and get Magneto and then make the really most annoying arena team to face, you know, just whatever. Um, so a couple things about the Gamma Raid, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, is that, um, you know, we've got a couple weird, uh, weird trait requirements on the outside of the raid map. It mm -hmm. uh, got the, the Kree and the hand nodes, and mm -hmm. then we also have Ravenger nodes and I think mercenary nodes. So. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? Like, I wouldn't even know which teams to use on those nodes. Like, have you tried, have you taken those lanes yet for the raid? Okay, so I've only done two lanes so far in the raid. I did the middle lane, which was uh, Defenders and Shield and uh, Guardians, I think. I don't know. Something up, mm -hmm. something up the middle. And it, it really was kind of confusing to me because it's like, wow, Defenders and Shield, it's almost like overlap and redundancy. You know, it would have been nicer if they would have been split those up so that, you know, one side could have been Defenders, other side could have been Shield, because a lot of people do have those teams developed up, but, but no, they're clumped up. And not only that, if you have Shield... And if you have Nick Fury, that means you have Kree, which is one of the other lanes on the other side. And uh, it's like, wow, anybody that has Kree <laughs> would also have shield, right? In theory, right? Yeah, I mean, and so... And it's just not together, and then it's just like, ah, the, the, the Kree is horrible. Hand yeah. is okay, but, it, you know, I think that, that the, the hand team was good you know, um, nine months ago. And I don't, I don't think oh, it's yeah. relevant. I mean, it was barely fringe relevant nine months ago, right? Yeah, that's what I would say. I remember when uh, I used to use it in Blitz all the time during right. the beta. It doesn't work as well anymore. Yeah, I don't know what changed. I guess teams got more complex. And so anyway, so all that to say, like, none of these are good teams. So I often wonder, like, how far can you even get down those lanes without having to revive or spend like the uh, the heels or whatever can you even right. get through all those lanes without right. good rng right i wonder so. who feels that this raid is fun no yeah, great question <laughs> um, i mean you, my 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 guild your guild we're in similar guilds we're like brother sister guilds right right mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we both did 60 percent, and it was challenging but i can tell you i i didn't find it fun there were some nodes there that were just unfun in my opinion i think we both went up against the same node up in the middle where it was like a uh, yeah. shield team and i had to talk to you this morning he's like how did you beat that team the team just like wiped me out over and over again it's not fun yep well and and you know the way that i beat it is that i used the heels and i revived characters <laughs> and that's how i beat it because it's i had to battle it <laughs> yeah yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, I'm on the outside lane right now, and I'm ran through my hand already, and then I go to do my Kree, and then I've got three more nodes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to spend cores to finish it up just so that I won't be the one person that doesn't finish all my nodes so that my guild can get 60%. It's, it's designed that way specifically for... Uh, it to be just barely possible and somebody's going to have to spend mon money or I'm letting down the other 23 people. Man, and that's the problem, though. That's what they want because they want it to be like uh, you don't want to let your friends down. So that's like pressure mm -hmm. to get you to spend money because, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, if it's just kind of like, oh, you can spend money and get a little further and maybe mm -hmm. get yourself a little bit of rewards, people are going to be like, ah, I'll pass on those rewards. They'll get there eventually. Right. But then when it's like, oh, I'm going to have to let down these 23 other people I probably talk to every right. single day. Right. It's like they're pressuring you they're putting it on you it's kind of it's a little sleazy fox next and we're figuring you out but you better watch it we're gonna right we're gonna and, get and what are you gonna do if, if you're in a competitive guild i mean i know there's casual guilds and i've been in casual guilds and, and now i'm in a competitive guild 
Uh, mm-hmm, it's, mm-hmm. it's not going to fly if I'm the one guy no. letting down the other 23 people. I, it's expected that I'm going to spend cores uh, to finish yeah. and do my part. It's just, it's, it, but that was a given coming into the guild, and every guild is different. But that's the way the guild that you and I are in, right? Would you say that's fair? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you they're not going to put up with that. And it's because, I mean, we're in, I don't know how many guild alliances are in the game. I'm sure there's gazillions Hundreds of, of thousands, them. Hundreds of thousands, let's say. Yeah. Or tens and we're of in thousands. The top, we're in the top, like, 100 last time I looked. Yeah, so, somewhere up there. Maybe even lower than that. Yeah, so to be that high, like, I understand that. And so it's interesting to me to think, like, okay, so in the top 100, like, we're kind of struggling through to get to the 60%. Um I don't know, like, where does that put everybody else? And then on top of that, I feel like that should give us a more, like, the boost should be significant. Like, our we're rewards should be better. We're actually in the top 15. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, we're, so, uh, we're up there in the top uh, top wow. 15-ish. So we're up there. So I just feel like the rewards then for it are really not even like that. I don't know. They don't feel that substantial for being top 15 out of hundreds of thousands. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just another that's another tree to bark up another time, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's uh, let's move on away from that. Don't want to seem too complaining about it, even though it sucks. Um, Spider-Verse. We've got mm-hmm. all kinds of new stuff from that. You've seen the movie how many times now? Twice. It was an amazing movie. Dude, twice. I, I so recommend I, it to everybody. In fact, I dragged Arnold out to it. I made him go see it. It was because it was fantastic. Yeah, so I need to see it. I was going to go see it the other night, and then I did not end up doing it because my plans changed. But I definitely want to see it. It sounds like a movie that you definitely want to see in theaters if you can. So from that, we got some new characters, which was like the Miles Morales Mm Spider-Man. And then we got Green Goblin, which I'm hearing was not even really in that movie that much. So that's a little weird. And then we're also getting Carnage, which the timing seems weird because it makes sense for him to have come when the Venom movie came out. But Mm -hmm. this is like a bit past it. I mean, he's still not out yet and that movie's out on like Blu-ray and stuff. So well, Miles Miles Morales makes sense to be in Mm -hmm, the game mm -hmm. for sure. But I think there were three other uh, characters, you know, Spider-Gwen and then two villains, you know, Ock and Kingpin from the Spider-Verse movie should have been in before Green Goblin. I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah. So would you want a, um, a different version of Kingpin or are you kind of like, okay, with the one that we already have in the game? Uh, see, I'm not sure that it's a different Kingpin, but he looked different. I, I'm not sure what they're going to do with this game. Uh, they really haven't done multiple characters. I mean, I mean, they could come out with right. like 19 variations of Iron Man if they were going to do that. Yeah. You know, we've got two versions of Spider-Man, but really Spider-Man is very different than Miles yeah. Morales. Yeah, they're, they're d- totally different people. They're totally so. different, yeah. Yeah. So, but I definitely, um, Spider Gwen has got to be coming. Mm-hmm. You know, like I haven't, I haven't seen any leaks or like data mines or anything like that. But like, you'd think she'd have to be coming, right? I mean, I'm a huge fan, Spider Gwen. Uh, I mean, yeah, I me hope too. that. I mean, you you brought up to me that they're supposed to come out with a movie for that. I would totally mm-hmm, go mm-hmm. see that as long as it yeah. doesn't get into some sort of hidden political agenda. I'm all about Spider Gwen. I think she's amazing. Yeah. Let's let's hope it does not go the route of Supergirl because people are freaking out about that right Supergirl now. Supergirl is not. Mm. Yeah, what a mess. What a mess. Uh, anyways, anyways. Um, so uh, a couple other things, like there's some uh, some bugs in the game right now that mm. I feel like are not really being talked about, and hopefully we can like maybe get this moving forward a little more. Uh, we've got two main bugs. Uh, so let's talk about the first one first is uh, the vision bug. So mm. when vision uses his dive bomb ability, it will crash the game. And now you were telling me earlier that that is because the, I guess, certain phones, like they're saying the iPhone 6 and before cannot run the game, which I right. guess could be kind of reasonable because that's a pretty old phone now. Well, um, yeah. I mean, the game is specced for to be usable on phones that have one gigabyte of RAM. I mean, I'm not super techie, but my understanding is that... Uh, you know, when you go up against a node that has vision and he does the dive bomb, it, it goes over one gigabyte of RAM and on these older phones crash. So, you know, if we're going into Alliance Wars, that sounds like an excellent defense strategy. Oh, yeah. You could even just set like <laughs> one one character, just vision, just like yeah. all across your front line and just dive bomb, you know. And, and I'm crazy, only going like, off of I'm only going off of Reddit posts, but it seems to me that uh, people have emailed customer support, and and their response is is to get a better phone. And, well, you know, I your mean, phone is old. I mean, I don't know how old an iPhone six is. You know, what is that? Four years old, maybe? Three uh, years old? 
I think it's I think it's four. Yeah, so it's like, well, I don't know. But then, you know, then make the game requirements two gigabytes, you know, whatever it's stated. But, mm -hmm. you know, that's what they're saying, that the game just requires only one. But if it requires two, that's fine. But I don't know. Seems like well, they could just fix it, right? Or just make it go yeah. so it doesn't crash. Because it just was a patch where everything worked fine, and now it doesn't work yeah. fine, which is ridiculous. Exactly. That's the thing. And here's the, like, for me, the even bigger thing. They don't even, like, they won't, they're not acknowledging it. Like, they're not saying, like, hey, like, this is an issue. Like they've said, we're we're trying to fix it. But, like, they haven't, like, said, like, hey, here's why. Here's what's going on. And uh, we'll have it fixed by this time. Mm -hmm. They're just they're like, oh, yeah, I guess we, we know it's an issue. Get a better phone. And it's like, okay, well, it's not very customer friendly. Like, you could at least be nice about it. So, whatever. I don't know. It's not, that's not affecting me. But I do feel terrible for the people it is affecting. But also, maybe they are right. Maybe you guys should get a new phone. Four-year-old phone's pretty old. So, I don't know what to say about that. But the next thing, and this is one that you are very personally uh, fired up about, <laughs> is the uh, the rocket, his second ability with the orange materials. Like, what's up with that? It says, it says, always calls to assist. And it just doesn't do it. It doesn't. What's up with that? I, and first of all, I run rocket in my arena squad. I run, I'm still running the old tech team. I haven't switched over to defenders or shield yet. Uh, maybe partially because I just I haven't got around to it. But I'm running Rocket in my arena team, and that middle ability going from six to seven says that it should always assist and get thirty percent export damage. It just simply doesn't. It doesn't work. It, doesn't make sense. I, I, it seems to me though when I play on a Guardians team with Groot. I could be wrong, but it seems like it does work when I on a Guardians team. Like if I'm running all Guardians with Groot, it does work. You know, all oh, three attack. You know, interesting. Like, but I I can't even test it. I don't know. But it's broken. It does not work. I think Rocket would be a top ten character if that that ability worked correctly. Well, I guess I just don't understand. Like just like the vision thing. Like why do they not just change the text? and say <laughs> this works 80% of the time or more likely it works like 40% of the time. Or, or fundus or orange ability mats, right? Well, I mean, they ought to do both. They ought to say, they ought to change it to whatever the heck it really is and then just refund the mats just like they did with Yondu. At the end of the day, it's weird to me because I don't, I don't see how they lose any money for refunding orange mats. So why would they not want to do it? You and know what I mean? It's not... My my issue is this is that this is the third orange amat ability mm -hmm. that did not work correctly that I personally put orange mats on. Black Widow's speed annoying. passive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Yandu's mm -hmm. passive, which was supposed to just clear two positive status effects of any, which does not work that way, and this no. one. So it's like wow. I, out of the, you know, I don't know how many I've done in game, maybe like five or six total. Three of them have not worked correctly. Yeah, that's stupid. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. Like maybe they, that maybe that's how they were intended to work and then they just never did. Or if they were lazy with writing descriptions, I don't really know. But it's not great. It doesn't look good. But hopefully, hopefully that will not continue. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. So, uh, last thing. Uh, to talk about is just as always just want to like you know just want to call out to fox next and be like hey guys like we could really use more communication um we would love obviously obviously an official forum even though it doesn't seem that will ever come but you know if you guys say that reddit is the better way to communicate then we'd love for you guys to post on reddit more regularly it just mm -hmm. seems like and maybe this is because the christmas season has con come and gone <laughs> It just doesn't seem like we've really heard much at all about a lot of things. And there's a lot of just stuff that people have questions about um, as far as these bugs and just other things. I mean, I don't know. You know, talking to us is only going to make us like you more. Even if you tell us stuff we don't want to hear, knowing that it's not a one-sided conversation is probably going to make us like them more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, So I don't know. But at the end of the day, Fox Next, we would love more communication. Um, that would be so awesome. So please do it. We would we would love that. So yeah, the official forums thing. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna do that because if if they were gonna do that, it would have been done a year ago. Um, yeah. Which seems absurd that there's no yeah. official forums. Uh, this is. Have you ever played a game without an official forums? 
No, man, that's what I was thinking. Like, I've never, I was literally just thinking that right now. I was trying to think of any game that I've played without one. And, like, most games have, like, forums. They have, like, little, like, wikis. And then they have, like, a Reddit and then everything. Like, they've got, like, vibrant communication stuff, it seems like. And then all we have is a Reddit that they never post on. Right. So like and if it, if it has to do with, like, cost of moderating or, you know, having moderators or something like that, then why do we have an in-game chat? I mean, it's, it yeah, seems like it's the same amount of work as having... And, and I don't use the in-game chat. You told me you do. It sounds like, like if I were to guess, to. it's just a bunch of kids, and you told me there's, like, yeah. spammers in there, too, like bots, right? Yeah, it's just, just spam bots, like, buy cores here, buy cores here, or this hack, blah, 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 blah. It's, like, it's pointless. Like, I used to go in there, and when the game was in beta, it was a lot smaller, so, like... I had friends that I would talk to from other alliances, and then when the the global launch came out, it was just like blah, 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 like spam, buy cores, hacks, blah blah blah, whatever. And it's I don't know if it's moderated, it's moderated very poorly. I'll put it that way. So yeah, I don't know. But mm. anyways, mm. anyways, let's let's wrap things up here. And um, you know what do what do we always say on this channel here, Trevor? You you want to do it? Or you you want me to do it? I actually don't know what you say. What? Oh, Trevor, you let me know, dude. You know what it is. I don't know, Josh. You have to tell me. You know what it is. All right. Well, as we always say to the friends watching at home and to Trevor, Hail Hydra. Oh, Hail Hydra. Yeah, I know about Hail Hydra. (laughs) 